Okay, this is my review of the Shark Navigator Lift Away Vacuum Cleaner that I purchased a couple months ago. It's an awesome vacuum. If you liked vacuuming before, you will love it now with this one here. Um, it is super lightweight. Okay, the pivoting steering, you don't you wouldn't think you'd be using it that much, but I'll tell you, once you once you start using it, it is it's awesome. It is awesome. The head, the, the brush isn't that wide, um, but it's it's wide enough, you know, it's just wide enough where you can get in between pieces of furniture. Um, the, the tank sticking out on the front it does have one disadvantage, that's when you're trying to get like under a table or something, you'll be hitting it. Um, the, uh, the unit itself will lift off from, lift off from the base so you can use it, you know, as a portable, portable, uh, thing of a jiggity. Um, I don't see any reason to use it because you can just pick it up like this and take it wherever you want to go, but you can remove it like so. And then you can run it around, you can just set it down where you're going and um, vacuum away. Now, an issue I have with it, okay, now I'm comparing this to a Dyson DC-14, which I had. Um, this thing, as far as um, maneuverability and ease of use and everything, this, this is like pushing a pillow, and the Dyson was like pushing an old Chevy with four flat tires compared to this. Now, the hose on this and the way the wand setup is, I'm not all that thrilled with, okay? It's kind of bulky, it's a little, you know, if you pivot, pivot here and it pivots here um but still it just it's it's just a odd situation the crevice tool oh i don't have it with it the crevice tool just has a, a little bitty end on it um, i'm not thrilled at all with the crevice tool um but overall awesome back for the money you can't go wrong um another another issue with it um is your tank it is very small low capacity um, you know, you can only, the fill line is right here, like a third of the way up. Um, emptying it can be a problem. You push the button, it opens. But when you go to close it, you put your hand in the bottom here, which is where the filter comes up through, and you get your hands, you get freaking nasties on your hand, you know, if you're not careful. Um, so it's low capacity. You can get about uh, two rooms vacuumed before you have to empty it, and you will always, no matter how many times you vacuum, you will be getting stuff in this tank. Um, the brush head, people that have very expensive carpet might not be too thrilled with the brush head because it is very aggressive, okay? It's like a freaking animal down there. Um, I like it because we have that, you know, that dollar store carpet. Um, works pretty good. Even though we vacuum every day, um, like I say, still get spooge in the tank. Um, let's see, what else about it there? The cord, you know, the cord's long enough. It's like 20 feet, Oops, if, as long as you don't step on it. It has a little hanger here. You just stick it on the back for when you're vacuuming, vacuuming. Oh, the switch. The on-off switch is kind of in an odd spot. That's right there. Um, it has three positions off. Then you put it in the middle position. That's just suction. You put it all the way back, and the power head kicks in. Um, you also have the ability here to open up so that you're not having quite as powerful a suction on the base if you're if you're vacuuming something like throw rugs or something. It helps so they don't. Because if you have this thing closed all the way, this thing, this sucks freaking really really it's real powerful um let's see that's about that it's fairly quiet um fire it up no it does a, does a good job When you open up to, to uh, dump the canister, the plastic is molded right here, and there's another tab over here, and your stuff hangs up in there, so you gotta get your damn fingers up in there and pull the hair out, and whatever else gets in there. Um, I'll show you that light over here. So, there's that tab that goes from here to the inside cylinder. Um, here, and then there's one, way up, there's one way up front here. This one on the side of it. You gotta get your fingers in to get your crap out of there, which, I'm not real keen about that, but... Uh, Anyways, that's it. 
that's about it, you know. Like I say, it's a, it's a uh, really nice machine for the money. You can't go wrong. Um, if you have a very large house, you might want to have two of them because you can't.